Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tay, welcome. My sim self has decorated for fall and for Halloween because Halloween is actually tomorrow. I'm planning for this to be a rather simple Halloween though because although it is Penelope's first Halloween, she's still an infant so there's not much that she can even do. Also, Tay and Dawn are planning a flight to Windenburg in a few days to tour some wedding venues. So that's kind of what their attention is primarily focused on at the moment. Okay, after our Target trip, I have put Penelope down for a nap and I'm just actually cleaning out my inventory. Can you imagine all of this food being in your pockets? This was all in my inventory. Some of it is spoiled, some of it is not. It's just so annoying having so much crap in my inventory. So I just had to clean it out and I sold so much stuff. Look how much money we have now. But also Dawn's promotion has helped a ton with us getting some money. Speaking of money, I did download the SimTuber career and I had Tay apply for that job. So now she is um, level three Sims tuber and we are about one video away from a promotion. We do need to get to level three of fame. We're only at one, so yeah. Boop, boop, pow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, it broke my sink. Uh, yep, I'm gonna need Dawn to get home ASAP to fix this sink because I'm not about to mess with some plumbing. I'm not. <laughs> Tate is on her grind and she is editing some YouTube videos. Hopefully this gets our fame up a little bit because I feel like I've been a notable newcomer for what seems like forever at this point. Um, and I really want to get to at least the next level. Like, come on, Don is higher in fame than me at this point. I mean, like that makes sense because he's in the NBA or whatever, but still like I'm trying to have my come up. Ooh, it says she's very productive right now. Oh. From producing or sharing new content, Tay's followers are anxious for new exciting content and updates Tay aims to deliver. Per, love that. And then she also has this one. I love media production, pumpkin spice, please. Shut up. Tay is in her element and because she's doing something she prefers, her fun is increased. Pumpkin, like I literally can't even focus. I can't even focus. Like, please shut up. Please shut up. What is wrong? She probably wants, yeah, she wants some affection. This is how calicos really be. Like, they always talking, always got something to say, always all up in your business. Only when they want to though, which is annoying. She knows that mama is working, girl. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Ooh, it's done. Just got a promotion. He is like so extremely exhausted from work, but he got promoted to summer league star. Ooh, what is that? Okay, let's see. Oh, and he already reached the promotion task for the next one. So he gonna get a promotion next time. Oh my gosh. So the SBA Summer League, also known as the Lucky Simoleon Summer League, is an off-season competition organized by the National Basketball Association. SBA teams come together to try out different summer rosters instead of their regular season lineups, including rookie, sophomore, and G League affiliate players. You don't just want Simoleons, you want the fame and even better, more Simoleons. Time to shine, baller. Ooh, okay, so he <laughs> about to be be promoted to a rookie stunner in a moment like i'm so proud of my boo i'm gonna have him come talk to tay and tell her about the promotion oh he's all energized he's like oh i can't wait to tell my babe that we got a promotion uh, also if you didn't notice i did change the living <laughs> <Yeah>. room <laughs> I can't. I'm obsessed with white couches. So he has this moodlet moving on up from the promotion. The sky is the limit in this career and earned a promotion. Moving on up at the job is such a great feeling. I have to talk about it. Tay has the same moodlet from that. So love that. And that got her in a flirty mood. She like, ooh, <laughs> the thought of us getting more money just gets my pixel panties all drenched. <laughs> <laughs> they are just so tired, so I'm just gonna have them nap together and then I'm gonna have Tay wake up and make him some dinner because he deserves a promotion meal, okay? Oh, so cute. 
She has her hand on her belly, but I promise y'all, she is not pregnant. She is not ready to be a mother during this wedding planning, okay? Like, that would be the worst news ever for us to find out that we're pregnant while we're planning this wedding. Like, I don't want a baby bump wedding. That's not what I'm going for, okay? <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot that the sink is broken. Don, I know you're tired and I know you just got a promotion, but can you please help me fix the sink? Um, let's repair that. Low key, I wanna make this mac and cheese and fried chicken just because I've never made it before. I'm just gonna pretend like this is Don's favorite meal, okay? I just wanna see what it looks like, really though. Oh geez, Penelope is still sleeping from her nap and she is about to be up all night like I am not ready for that nah that nap that nap did him right okay <laughs> his energy is like so well right now oh and tay is working hard on this mac and cheese if it don't sound like a wet soaking coochie i don't want it that's what i'm talking about okay they know it this is my man right here my man my man oh it's out the oven. Let's see what it's looking like. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It don't look very appetizing. It <laughs> do not, uh, okay? But excellent. Don't play with her. Oh, and Don is just about finished with the sink. Hallelujah. He did that actually pretty quick because I'm gonna have him eat the serving. Tay's not even hungry though. Oh, yay. Okay, and Tay, go ahead and mop this up, boo-boo. She's like, I cannot. Why can you do it? Thank you. Also, it's fall time, but as you can see, it is like so hot outside. Like, I feel like Delta Valley is giving Texas weather at this point because Dante, I think B Satterfield is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? I don't know who the hell B Satterfield is, but uh, I'm gonna say you should go for it because you need to move out of your mama house and hopefully she gives you some initiative to like move in with her or an apartment or do something, but get out of that house. How's the food, Don? Let me know. Is it delicious? Oh, he ate all the meat off that bone, okay? He said it is delicious. <laughs> Look at him thinking about it. He's like, yeah, this is my favorite meal. Thank you, boo. <laughs> and now he thinking about his promotion. He is so proud of himself. That is my man, my man, my man, my man. Can I just give him like a big wet kiss? <laughs> Let's see. I think I'm gonna just give him a little massage. Like, come on, boo. She's in a flirty mood. Brap no wanna? Yeah. Oh, oh, so cute. Hold me closer while the love language of touch from Tay just made that moment truly magical for Dawn. It has Dawn pondering the joy of a tender caress or the comfort of a warm embrace from a beloved Sim. Is this a moment of realization that Dawn likes physical intimacy? Yes, I feel like we are just, you know, cuddle bears. You know, we love a good hug <laughs> and just to cuddle and to be hugged up on one another. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> that was so cute. Okay, Penelope is still knocked out. so. I feel like it would be so cute if me and Dot could take a bath together. Just like a cute little bubble bath. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's such a vibe. Don't judge me, okay? We grow, okay? We just want oh, yeah, a, little, a little bit of ass. <laughs> All right, you know, we had to keep this PG. So she in her little swimsuit or whatever, but they are a vibe. <laughs> they are a vibe. And honestly, y'all can't tell me that Wicked Whims is, is just for dirty people, okay? Because this is so cute. <laughs> Let's just say Tay may or may not have just got her back blown out in the bathtub, but that's none of my business, okay? <laughs> and I feel like I haven't done like my night routine in a long time, so maybe I'll just go ahead and put a mask on and then I'm gonna wake Penelope up and start taking care of her needs. Ooh, okay, so she put this 24 karat gold mask on and oh my gosh, it's giving. I don't like how it's cracking, but it looks <laughs> luxurious and I'm here for it. Let's wake this baby up. Our booty Good morning, Have Penelope. <laughs> you slept literally all day. It's time to get up. Oh, and she woke up in a sad mood, but she is so cute. Let me pick her up. Oh, don't cry. I'm picking you up. She loves to be held. Like, she's so spoiled. Oh. And look at her. Now she's happy. Now she's at. Oh my. She just bit my finger. I know she did it. Um, even though I did see her crawling, <laughs> I'm gonna continue to practice crawling because like we haven't got the milestone and I wanna see what it looks like when she actually crawls, like learns how to crawl, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my baby girl. I'm so excited for her to have her next birthday. I think I'm gonna have her become a toddler on her next birthday because like she'll be two and I feel like toddlers should be in the terrible twos, you know? Come on, Penelope, you can crawl, girl, you got it. 
I already seen you do it, so <laughs> don't act like you can't. Girl, not her tapping out. Never back down, never what? Never give up. <laughs> she scooted over. She was like, no, I'm done for the day. It's time for Tay to take off her mask anyways. And look, how cute are her little pimple patches? I love these so much. Skincare is just my thing, okay? <laughs> Esthetician here. I love skincare. Penelope kind of needs um a bath and I'm just like, oof. Let me go ahead and clean the bathtub first because we did a number on that tub, I tell you. Oh, look at them, bubbles still in there. <laughs> the things this tub has seen, I will tell you. Tay went ahead and gave Penelope a bath and then she headed to bed. This is always how it ends up, isn't it? <laughs> you go to sleep cuddling and you wake up and y'all are like on two separate sides of the bed. One person has all the blankets. <laughs> but good morning, it is now Halloween. Happy Halloween. Okay, Penelope is literally already awake. I hope she went to sleep last night. I'm not playing with her. Um, Oh, look, she was about to cuddle with him. No, go use the bathroom. Oh, look at her. She's like pulling herself up. She's trying to become a big girl way too fast. I'm not playing with her. No, stop crying. She's like, I want to get out. Okay, then let's put Penelope here and we're going to get her some breakfast because she's so hungry. There's a bunch of um, foods that Penelope hasn't had yet. So let's try some mashed avocado and see if she likes it. And I think I'm going to make these berry Belgian waffles for breakfast. Oh, Dawn is remembering that fire. Sure, there was a recent fire here, but it's not like there'd be another one so soon. No way for sure. <laughs> He's feeling a little tense. He's like, ooh, Tay's in the kitchen. I hope she don't catch another fire because that was scary. <laughs> She's uh, unsure about avocado. I cannot wait until the new stuff pack comes out. I'm so excited to get it. You guys let me know if you are. Like, I'm freaking hype over the pack. I don't know. It just looked like so much fun. And I'm excited to, like, make waffles actually in a waffle maker. Like, it's going to be Good. lit. <laughs> oh, Penelope. She grabbed the whole spoon. She's like, let me do it myself. Uh-uh. I told y'all. She thinks she's a grown woman. <laughs> That food never fills them up all the way, so I'm just gonna also give her some banana slices. Well, if Dom would hurry up, <laughs> he could have ate breakfast with me, but it's okay. So today is Halloween and we need to put up some more decorations just so we can complete this tradition. I like to select my own decorations because sometimes the automatic ones just be a little ugly. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of thinking about doing something like this on the spandrels. Hopefully it looks good, we're gonna see. And then I think this for the eaves. But Don does have work today. He has work in two hours, which I'm kind of sad about. Oh, look, Don has got uh, the refined palette quirk, just like me, period. And Tate is here going through this holiday box, trying to find some decorations. We gotta find those lights. You know, they be stored away. <laughs> okay, so this is what the decorations ended up looking like. Honestly, at this point, I don't even care. <laughs> it is what it is. This is all that my house will show. Okay, Don is about to go to work, so I'm gonna let him go ahead and do that. He's trying to put away some toys. I'm about to put Penelope down and I'm gonna just let her watch some TV and maybe do some cleaning this morning. Go ahead and whip out our vacuum cleaner. See, this is the thing I hate about this house. There's so many windows that it makes my house so bright during the day and I hate that, so annoying. So for Halloween, some of the traditions are carved pumpkins. We're gonna do that when Dawn gets off of work. Ding dong ditch, hopefully nobody does ding dong ditch us because they're gonna have a rude awakening when I whip out my gun on them. <laughs> Decorate, wear some costumes. I think I'm gonna just wear some of the costumes that come with the spooky day pack and then trick or treat. So we are gonna get some little trick or treaters and I'm super excited to give them candy. I do also have this candy bowl from Ravishine so we can get candy from this bowl too. So if we, you know, get tied up, the trick or treaters can just grab their own candy. I really wish that I could um, relax on the lounge chair and read a book at the same time. I feel like that would be a vibe, but you can't do that in the lounge chair, which is so annoying. But Tay was just feeling a little cooped up from being inside. So I want her to spend some time out here just to relax a little bit. Like, I really wish that you could do things while you were sitting on this freaking chair. It would be such a vibe to like talk on the phone or, you know, check your social media timeline or anything, but... It's okay. So Tay is here just checking her social media timeline, looking over, you know, the latest news and what's going on, what's trending. 
But I feel like, you know, the holidays make you think about your family. And Tay is kind of a little bit upset that her mom didn't reach out on Penelope's birthday. Even though they're not on speaking terms, she thought that was a great opportunity for her mom to reach out the way that Naomi did. And she's a little bit upset that she didn't. And so I think that she's going to take things into her own hands and maybe try to give her mom a call, maybe even a FaceTime. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, maybe we'll do a video call and let's go to family. So this is Tay's mom, Angelique, and let's give her a call. She's like, <laughs> I don't even know what this conversation would be like, honestly. Let's see if it goes good or if it goes bad. Oh, wow. This is actually a really long conversation that they're having. So that's good. Oh, my gosh. I'm kind of excited for this because it's not fun, like, not having your family in your life, you know? This is everything. Oh, and they got a good friendship. <gasps> I love that. Okay, I'm actually kind of down to meet up with her today. And maybe we can even bring Penelope along. <laughs> I say that like, oh, now Dawn is calling. Oh, she's calling Dawn. Why is she calling Dawn while he is at work? Okay, that was crazy. Why did I think Donna was trying to talk to me? I know she's not trying to call me, okay? <laughs> she does not like me. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and freshen up. Let's get ready, do our makeup, and then we're just gonna, you know, invite her out to lunch. All right, so we have just arrived at the restaurant and Tay has met up with her mom, Angelique. And you already know, like the very first thing she had to do was introduce her to Penelope. And <laughs> this is such a cute moment. I think it's like really hard to be the bigger person and like to reach out to somebody even when you feel like you're not in the wrong. So Tay is definitely growing. Aww. Let's see if Penelope likes her. Oh. Penelope does like her. Hey, Brendan, I haven't seen him in so long, ever since Paris. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and request this table here. All right, so me and my mom and Penelope are just all here. Penelope's over here talking to me. She's like <laughs> helping the awkwardness not be so awkward. I think I really just want to try to have a deep conversation with her so we can kind of just go over our issues and hopefully, you know, squash them and she can become a constant part of my life. Going through everything, she's like, I feel like there could be two sides of you and I don't know how I feel about having you around my child. And she's like, well, we can work through things, you know, communication is key. So you need to tell me when you're feeling some type of way, we can't just ignore each other forever. <laughs> Love that for them. I'm just gonna tell her about Penelope's milestones because like, I wanna brag about my baby. This is the first time she met her and she needs to know that like, <laughs> she is such a good baby. Oh. Oh my gosh, and we got a sentiment. Yay. Oh my God, look, she started feeding Penelope just autonomously. I love that. Oh my gosh, Penelope's grandmother. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Penelope is like so happy to have a nice grandmother <laughs> because Don's mom wasn't cutting it. Oh, who's calling me? Oh, why is she crying? Oh, Dante's calling me. Guess what? My date would be Satterfield went well. Congrats. I hope the next thing he hits me up about is like, hey, do you think I should move into these luxury apartments with my new girlfriend, B? <laughs> I hope. I feel like we're not even really hungry, at least I'm not. I just kind of came for a drink and to kind of chit chat and catch up and hopefully, you know, squash the beef with my mom. So I kind of want this gentle lily drink. And I feel like my mom would kind of go for like, mm, let's do a green apple teeny. And then as a little side, I'm gonna have some meat and cheese and I'll give my mom some olives. Oh, my cute baby girl. She's having so much fun on this little um, lunch date. Never mind. I spoke too soon. She's trying to go night night. Girl, about to have a crook in that neck. <laughs> I hate how this girl tried to have the same hairstyle as me. Like, boo, bitch. <laughs> I'm a trendsetter in this town, okay? Period. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. Oh, wow. Already. Now there's a new family dynamic. Instead of us being distant, it's now jokesters. So I'm kind of here for that. Let's do it. Okay, so I do actually need to tell my mom the big news. I need to announce my engagement to her. 
Parfait gloss. Okay, she's like, guess what? I'm actually engaged. Oh, that's amazing. So glad to hear that for you. That's exciting. Yay. Thank you for being happy for me. Ooh, our food is coming yeah. out. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl, dinner. girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Tay is having the best time. Who wants lunch in a sack? That just sounds wrong. Going out to lunch is the only way to live. <laughs> oh, Penelope's like, this music is too loud. I can't go to sleep. <laughs> like, it's too loud in here. I'm sorry, boo. We're a hot girl. This is a hot girl summer or hot girl fall. <laughs> so you need to get used to us being outside. Okay, you already had your nap for the day. Oh my God, we got another sentiment. Wow. Growing closer from quality time, our first time hanging out in a year, but we grew that sentiment. They're having like a really nice time. Oh my gosh. I am so surprised, honestly. Penelope just farted. Oh, there is that a dirty diaper? Okay, it was a fart. Goodness gracious. Tay's mom, Angelique, kind of lives like a little bit of a double life because she loves the country lifestyle. She grew up in Chestnut Ridge and, you know, she grew up on a little farm and things like that. And then she went off to college in San Machuno, which is where she lived for most of her adult life. And that is where Tay and Naomi grew up as well. Angelique graduated from college with a degree in law and she is currently working as a lawyer. However, she really missed her hometown so she decided to move back to Chestnut Ridge and she is currently commuting to work every day. During the day she's all dressed up in her business attire and then on the weekends she's in her cowboy boots working on milking that cow baby. <laughs> and I also just think that her commute to work just puts a strain on our relationship because she's always busy, she's always driving, she's always working on the farm, and then she's worrying about her law firm. So I think our relationship just kind of was put on hold because her life just got so busy and hectic and we couldn't work out our issues that we had personally. So I'm glad that they had this little time together to catch up and rekindle their relationship. Okay, I'm gonna let them finish these drinks and then I'm gonna head home because it's like almost four o'clock and Don's gonna be off at five and I do want to like celebrate Halloween with him. I wanna at least watch a scary movie before the kids start trick or treating, you know? Oh, look at this baby. Yeah, she, she needs to be put down because <laughs> she is about to cause a scene in this restaurant. I have Tay here just updating her social media status and hopefully that can get our fame up a little bit. And then we are just gonna head on home. Goodness gracious. Okay, we're back home. Penelope is causing a scene. I'm about to put her down for another nap. Is this what it's like with babies? Do they need like 5 million naps a day? Like I feel like one nap a day would be fine for a baby, no? I don't know. Dawn is about to be here any moment and I kind of need to figure out what I'm gonna dress Penelope in. I was CC shopping all day and I couldn't find any cute Halloween stuff for infants. So hopefully I can find something in what I already have. Also, Dawn just got here and we just got some money. <laughs> That is my man, okay? That is my man. Because why did he just come home with $41,000? Period, okay? Like, I was really on the fence about selling some of my cars and shit to pay for this wedding. But since Don got this promotion, y'all, we are about to be living in a mega mansion <laughs> when we sell this house, okay? I feel like as soon as he walks past this candy bowl, he's gonna be like, ooh, so I'm just gonna have him grab a little tree. He's like, ooh, she already put the candy out? Okay, <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> can you grab a treat? I don't even think he can. Oh, he ate it from all the way over there, okay. Okay, so I may or may not have put in a little bit too much effort for this Halloween when I said it was gonna be very simple because I made this little outfit for Penelope and I just did it really quick. So if you think it's a little crusty, mind your business. Well, I was about to show you their Halloween outfits, but why did Dawn just yell about money to me, talking about I'm spending too much money? Oh my goodness. Dawn's remarks towards Tay were so offensive. She is naturally offended. I am offended too, Dawn, because we only went to Target today. Don't get out of my business, Dawn. Get out of my business. I'm about to separate my checking account from this man because he doing too much. But Dawn is just like so unserious. So he decided to be Darth Vader for Halloween. And Tate is a little witch. Look at that little spider on her hat. I think that's so adorable. That's the only reason I chose this outfit. All right, I set up these tables here so we can carve some pumpkins. I'm gonna have Tay carve a cat. Let's just do this orange one. And I'll have Dawn do a ghost. 
and another orange one. Oh, this looks like so much fun. I freaking love carving pumpkins. I found out that I am surprisingly very good at carving pumpkins. Oh, Dawn's is coming along nicely. I'm so excited. And Penelope and <laughs> Pumpkin Spice are just fighting. <laughs> they are so cute. Um, Penelope, where are you going? What is she doing? Coming to hang out with her best friend. Uh, like at this point, she needs a sibling because the cat is like <laughs> her main source of socialization. <laughs> okay, Donna is calling. Let's answer. Hey, like mama, what do you want? I was just talking to you earlier. We just talked a few hours ago. Oh, but look at their pumpkins. So cute. Normal quality and normal quality. Oh. And now I'm just waiting for the trick-or-treaters. I'm gonna have Tay grab a little candy. Oh my God, she's so tense. Why are you so tense? Oh my gosh, she's thinking about the guilt with Tupac. Like, girl, y'all weren't even together. Like, calm down. Or is she thinking about the flirting with Jen? <laughs> Cause there has been so much going on right now. And she really thought playing incredible sports was gonna ease the pain. I guess so. Penelope is going night night by herself on the floor in here. Okay, I do wanna watch a scary movie. I'm waiting for some trick or treaters to get here. Nobody has come yet. I think it might be glitched low key, but I'm not gonna jinx it. Okay, I'm gonna watch The Sims of the Dead with Dawn. Oh. Tyler, the creator, where is he? Is he around? <laughs> Watch he come trick-or-treating to my house. He better not. That's my ex-boyfriend, y'all. Look at them. They're just here all cuddled up. Meanwhile, these zombies are like obliterating people. <laughs> Look at this little girl so scared. And they're just like, ah. Oh, oh, they about to do the thriller? And this is thriller. Oh, oh. <laughs> this movie is so out of line. Tay and Don ended up falling asleep here on the couch after the movie ended and they stayed up basically all night trying to get these trick-or-treaters some candy, but nobody came to our door, which I'm disappointed in. And I'm almost positive that it was because the game was glitching. But anyways, Tay and Don have a really big day tomorrow because they are going to be headed to the airport and they are flying to Windenburg with our wedding planner because she is going to start showing us some venues and I am so excited excited to choose our wedding venue. Good morning. So today is the big day. I'm super hyped. Everyone is already packed up and I'm going to start off by getting some breakfast and then we're going to head over to Windenburg and oh, I can't wait to tour some wedding venues. Oh, I am so upset that I left this out to spoil the other day. Oh my goodness. Since we have such a big day ahead of us, I think I'm just gonna do the full fry up. Oh, she's like, good morning, baby. I think she's like not as angry as she was yesterday about Dawn yelling at us. Oh, and I need to take down these Halloween decorations, actually. We are not that family that keeps their decorations up past the holiday, take it down. And both Dawn and Tay had a really good holiday yesterday. She woke up with morning dew. <laughs> Girl, you don't have time for that. We got a flight to get to, but she's feeling really good. She's just home. Hungry. Look at Don's stomach growling. He is so hungry. Okay, we're we're almost there, buddy. Calm down. Before I forget, let me update my social media status. I need to get in the habit of doing this like every couple of hours. What what are y'all doing? Y'all, I told y'all she was um having some morning dew this morning. <laughs> Look at Don. Stop. We don't have time for this. All right, so Tate and Don have just arrived to the Delso Valley Airport, and at least where I live, I know that you have to get to the airport three to four hours before your flight because it's just such a hassle to fly in general. There's so many people, the bag check, everything that comes with flying, it's so time consuming. But since we are flying to Windenburg, I'd like to think that this is an international flight because Windenburg gives European vibes, in my opinion. I think that the flight would probably take about six or seven hours to get there, so once we do arrive, I'm gonna do a time jump also can we take a moment to talk about penelope's hairstyle tay did this right before we left the house and i'm literally obsessed with her little antennas that she has in the front like the poof pigtails they were a moment but we've graduated from that and we're now <laughs> rocking the single poof with the antennas. This is definitely gonna be her new hairstyle from now on until I find another one to obsess over. Ugh, they are literally so cute. Uh, look at him, love that. Oh. 
Oh my god, Tay. All outside. Like, we can't even get into the airport, okay? Oh, oh my god, y'all. Y'all. Not the paparazzi? Period. Period. <laughs> oh my god, we can't even get into the airport without the paparazzi. Like, oh my god, a fan? Okay, little bitch, I'm not gonna play with you. Oh. <laughs> Face down, ass up. That's the way I like to. Hey, you guys know the rest. <laughs> if you don't, you're a little bit too young. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, she all up in his mouth. Okay, and look at Penelope just along for the ride. <laughs> She's just hanging in there. I think I'm just gonna chill up here in the coffee shop until it's time to board our flight. So let me send them up here. I wonder if like we're gonna get any more fans. Like, look at Don just leaving Tay. Come on, girl. I'm gonna have Don order a little drink. Let's get a coffee for here. I wanted to get something pumpkin related because it's fall, but like they don't really have anything. So I think I'm just gonna get the barista's recommendation. Also this song playing, I freaking love it so much. It's like that newer song. I forgot what the girl's name was, Becca Hatch. Yeah, I think that's her name. Um, absolutely love this song, love her too. And let's order Tay. I think I'm gonna do the white hot chocolate. Actually, no, 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 dairy milk caramel hot chocolate. That sounds good. I would definitely get that, but dairy milk i hope that don't upset my stomach because <laughs> if tay is farting on this flight i am so sorry don Jossa. damn you gonna make my man's drink or what like what's the hold up and uh, don starts work in one hour but this is what the hold up is we need a new employee in here um don starts working one hour i don't know how to make him take a vacation day because the mod like just didn't have anything also where's my man drink you know i'm about to stand up for my man where is his drink okay i need to introduce myself before i can yell at him so let me do a mean introduction <laughs> uh-uh tay don't even sit down don't even sit down yeah get up because we need to stand up for our man right now <laughs> stop because i am really so feisty also, uh, the paparazzi in the blank girl, if you don't stop stalking my man, <laughs> I'm gonna just argue about his career because he obviously needs to rethink his career choices because this one is not for him. It's not. She like, so you really gonna sit here and not give Don Davis his coffee? Like, come on. <laughs> and I like how the paparazzi is just getting all of this. They're getting all of this. They're like, oh, that's Tay Taylor. She is spicy. Yeah, I'm a little feisty. I am. He's like, let me order my drink for here again. I said I wanted the barista's recommendation. He said the recommendation was nothing. It was nada. <laughs> I recommend you not to drink from here. I recommend you to get coffee from another place. That's what he said. <laughs> I already know this coffee is about to come out terrible so, so. quality now. Don's like, I'm just waiting for my damn coffee. Please. <laughs> we call the whole scene in the coffee shop. And look at everybody. <laughs> Put it in their orders. <laughs> this man is stressed. That's enough, Tay. Let him live. Let him live. Stop eating him up because I low key think he's winning the argument. <laughs> If this man don't stop ordering, this is like his damn, <laughs> that's his third order. And are you allowed behind the counter? I'm confused, sir. <laughs> and look at them, they're like, I can't believe we are right next to Don Davis. Yeah, that's my man. You better not stand too close. <laughs> he had the nerve to say, this one's my own secret recipe. No, I won't share it with you. Sir, this coffee is normal quality. I don't want that damn recipe. You can keep it. <laughs> I want to just chill out at this table and I packed Penelope's stroller. So I think I can just like sit her in here and we can kind of chill out here in this corner. Yes, yes. Don, what does it taste like? Is it good? <laughs> Look at them, they're all freaking out. I am just gonna bless these people real quick. Let's sign some autographs. Sign his autograph. I will sign his autograph. Oh, she passed out again. <laughs> Oh. Okay, sign that autograph. Look at Penelope. She's like, my dad is a superstar. And signing his little autograph. Oh, look at that signature, period. Uh-uh, look at Tay. She really came to the airport like, let me put on my hat. Let me put on my little sunshades because I already know the paparazzi is about to be on me. Meanwhile, they're all on Dawn. Like, ma'am, he is in the NBA or SBA. <laughs> 
Um, he's definitely gonna be a little bit higher in fame than your little YouTube career that you have. But honestly, this does seem really annoying. So I'm just gonna have her tell him to go away. Like, get out of here, sir. Let me whip out my little MacBook and let's see what we can do as far as social networking. Let's go ahead and update our social media status and share an image so we can get some more followers. Okay, I had to um, change tables because that one, like, we couldn't sit there. I don't know. The tables are stupid oh and they're so cute but also penelope being back there while tay's back is turned is like low-key scary <laughs> but i got my eye on her also how many times is this girl gonna follow me around and this one too i signed your autographs now leave boo is this what celebrity life is like uh-uh i already know don is like this is the last time we are flying commercial okay no we are not doing this again thank you ma'am collect yourself and get out of here this is embarrassing <laughs> wait 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 our baby is getting a milestone what is it what is it she learned how to wave baby see baby do penelope just waved for the first time oh and then she puts her shoe in her mouth <laughs> okay Ooh, adrian is calling us uh, quick question oh my god every time i see this name i want to say joel quinn <laughs> joaquin taylor and i are planning to spend some casual time together should i do it uh go for it buddy don't know who Joaquin is, but go for it. I'm scared, y'all, because um, I thought it was my job because I'm supposed to be at work today. Oh, okay. See, like I have these vacation days, but I don't see take a vacation on here. But let me just call in sick because like, what am I supposed to do? I don't even know how this is supposed to work because the paparazzi definitely took our pictures. And he's like, <coughs> can't make it in. I'm sick. Do I hear music in the background? Oh. I'm, I'm on the in the car on the way to the doctor. Yes. Sorry to hear that. Feel better soon. Okay. Well, I'm just about to call in sick until we're back home in Delso Valley because I don't know how to take a vacation. It was an extremely long flight, but Tay and Don have just arrived to the Windenburg Airport and they have picked up their rental car. They are driving a little Bentley, okay? And they're super jet lagged from the flight. So I'm just gonna have them travel to the Windenburg train station because it's super close and there's a restaurant nearby. So we're gonna pick up some food and then head to our hotel that we'll be staying at. Oh my God, we have a little fan here, which is insane because like we're all the way in Windenburg and we have a fan. Buddy. I'm just gonna sign Double his autograph, okay? Oh, oh, I just made this little boy's day. And look at Tay, she's just like, oh, so happy for him. <laughs> okay, Piri, we got the navigation up. We are, we headed out. Tay's like, uh, -uh no. Oh, <laughs> not him stopping my little hand. Uh-uh, you better not. We are here at the Windenburg train station and this lot is absolutely stunning. Go download it immediately. Don is getting our table here. Tay came out here Super to talk to Penelope because we're waiting for our table, Julie, but can we just talk about this day. lot? Like, look at the Please. little train in the background. Like, this is everything. I love this. Miss Liza Pancakes uh -huh. is the hostess and uh -huh. she's just like yes. over here on the phone. Like, we are waiting uh -huh. for our table. Uh -huh. Do you know who I am? I'm Don Davis, okay? Like, take me to my table, bitch. I just paused the game. Um, I better not see this hoe pick up this damn phone. <laughs> she better not. Don't play with me. Yep, she tried to play with me. Mm -mm. Stop, hold my baby. Stop, because I'm letting the fame get to my head and I'm not even the one with the fame. <laughs> like, can you, what are we waiting for? I'm dead because it says order for table. So like we literally have the table. It was just glitched out. <laughs> And I really was just mean to her for no reason, but it's okay. We love a prepared queen because I did bring Penelope's little stroller that acts as a high chair. So I'm gonna place this down and we're gonna get some food. Actually, that's the girl seat. <laughs> the girl gets the booth. You sit in the chair like a man. Naomi, what do you want, girl? She's trying to chat, let's do it. Naomi, girl, what do you want? Is Penelope hungry? Oh, she is, okay. Yeah, let me um give her some finger foods. I'm gonna give her some ODOs. Oh, Penelope, you get some ODOs. Okay, Tay, how long are y'all gonna talk? I turned it so she could be a part of the group. Um, I'm gonna just order for us because Tay's on the phone and she's doing the most. I like how Dawn is becoming the main character at this point. 
<laughs> so it looks like the tea and biscuits is the chef's choice. So I'm going to do that for both of us. I tried to make the menu as European as I could. I am not well-traveled, so I do not know much about any of the countries. I don't even know much about the USA, to be honest. So I tried <laughs> my best to Google what I thought would be in a European restaurant. I think uh, I'm going to do the matzo ball soup. It's not even really that. Well, look, look, look. Recipe for the matzo ball soup has roots in Jewish cooking in Eastern Europe and is a type of chicken soup with large dumplings. Okay, okay. So that's all I need to see was European. We're going to get both of that. Tina. Tay really says she's about to be on the phone the whole time. Like, come on, bro. Ooh, she spread some gushy jo gossip about Angelique, my mom? Wait, what was the gossip, sis? Also, wait. The server, he's giving, push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. The side swoop, not the bang gang. <laughs> it says hearing about the gossip in the family is hilarious. I want to know what it was, though. Like, please spill the tea, sis. <laughs> It was something funny though. Also, why did she make a social bunny post that today is not her day? Like what happened on the flight, sis? You're having a good day. We are in Winterberg and we're gonna be seeing some wedding venues tomorrow. Like, and not her being uncomfortable saying the environment <laughs> is poorly decorated. First of all, the creator did a marvelous job decorating this train station. I haven't checked these moodlets in a minute. Don's uncomfortable saying he need a cup of coffee. Oh, because of the, the jet lag. Okay, that makes sense. And he's also saying he don't like the decorations. Maybe it's because it's like a European style. Oh, he's addicted to caffeine now. What? I didn't even know you could become addicted to caffeine like in the game. That's insane. I'm just gonna go over here and let's make a little post about being at the train station because if we are working on that fame, baby. <laughs> I'm about to be on Don's level pretty soon, okay? I think giving Tay that career was like the best thing that could have happened because I feel like you need goals in order to like want to play the game. So that's a good goal for me to like try to reach. Also, the sun setting is everything. <laughs> that is everything. Ooh, our food is here. Yes. Uh, thank you. Where's my drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? Oh, not her pulling out of water. Um, we ordered tea and biscuits. Uh-uh. Zero stars from this place. Zero stars. And it's normal quality. Mm-mm. I'm gonna let them eat this and then let them take the plates away and then order the drink because that was the chef's recommendation and they didn't even give it to us. Y'all better bring me my damn tea and biscuits. So, you are. And he better come take my order with the quickness. Okay, thank you, Rocker Boy. He is, he's back. What is his name? Vic? Okay, noted. It's definitely being noted in my Yelp review. <laughs> oh, not Tay Serenade me. Is she? She is. And that's giving her a little bit of fame. She know what she doing. <laughs> I like how, oh my God, it's about to be 9 p.m. We spent all day at this damn restaurant. It's giving flat. I'm gonna need you to keep working on that, Tay. But, you know, you do you. Uh-oh, not Penelope falling asleep. She about to have a crook in her neck. I am so sorry, baby girl. <laughs> uh-uh, that head is just bobbing. Ooh, little tea and biscuits. Oh, and it's excellent quality. Yay, Isha, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna just update my social media status, you know, saying like, oh, I had that team biscuits at the Winterberg train station restaurant <laughs> and it was actually a hit. Okay, she's just making this post and then we're gonna pay for the bill and then go to the hotel. Gosh, today has been such a long day. We have finally arrived to the Winterberg bed and breakfast and this is the lot that we are going to be staying at for the duration of this trip. I just think it's such a homey little spot and you know, they're new to this life of fame so they're not quite that bougie but as you can see like <laughs> they're starting to get full of themselves a little bit but i think this is a nice little spot and i'm excited to stay here i think i'm gonna choose this to be our room i like it because it has the open doors to the bathroom but i absolutely love this room too because it has a cute vanity and it has like the his and her shower which i think is so freaking cute oh this one has a vanity too and it has a little bit more room for me to put down penelope's bed so i think i'm just gonna choose this one also i just really like these doors i mean i could change the doors in there but no no this is gonna be our room after all that traveling like they're not even that tired penelope is of course but not tans on oh, so you already know what's about to go on okay they got the wine out oh okay penelope close your ears okay girl because 
Let me put her down. You already know I had to put the bonnet on my baby because I don't want to mess up her little antennas, okay? We <laughs> spent a, a minute doing her hair. Let me soothe her to sleep. And Dawn, go ahead and change your clothes and start relaxing on this bed, okay? Oh my God, is she hungry again? Should I breastfeed her? Tay, just breastfeed her real quick because... Dawn, if this isn't turning you on, I don't know what will, okay? <laughs> Let me stop. Oh my God, not that thing thing in with the dogs out. He said he about to wait, okay? Look at him sighing. He's like, hurry up. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, okay. Parents, this is a question for you. Do you get freaky deaky with your child in the room? I don't know, can't relate. <laughs> don't want children, don't have them. But I just wanna know. Oh my God. And then he's trying to slow dance me. Wait, 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 let me change her outfit. I felt like it would be a little weird if she had lingerie on and she gets like freaky deaky with her child in the room. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, just some wholesome woohoo tonight. Very wholesome, very holy. We gotta keep it, uh, <laughs> gotta keep it like Amish style, you know? <laughs> okay, and then after this, we're gonna pop a bottle of champagne, okay? And. Then we're gonna go to bed. <laughs> you hear that? She's sound asleep. She is not <laughs> knowing what is going on in that. Oh, look at them cuddling after work. Excuse me? Um, I'm gonna have him just, you know, toast to them finding the perfect wedding venue in the morning. Guamo oh, pizza. he's like, toast to us, babe. <laughs> so Swarpta. Now let's get lit. Let's get drunk tonight. <laughs> yeah. Shot, shot. <laughs> let's um we can go to bed let's go to sleep it is 1 a.m we need to be up by mm, i'll say 9 a.m to tour these venues okay oh no it's raining i hope it's not raining tomorrow when we tour these venues that's gonna be such a mood killer because i'm not gonna be able to get like the full effect of the wedding venue if it's raining but also i feel like you know, weather is like unpredictable. I mean, I should have looked at the calendar, but I don't really want to cheat it. I want to stop cheating the weather because I feel like it's more realistic if you don't. So I hope and pray that it stops raining while we tour these damn venues. Oh, I just got this notification. Hello, Tay, we need a celebrity partner to promote TV dinner, a basic cable television, girl dinner, um, a basic cable television channel as a part of the targeted advertising campaign. Complete one of the following options in the next 24 hours. Oh my gosh, use the video station to upload a video footage you've captured, our ad, Agency will splice you into some stock cooking footage and send you a payout. Ooh, TV dinner. Every time I see that, I'm gonna say girl dinner. Girl dinner would love footage of you personally cooking. If you use a drone or upload a video focused on cooking, your payment will be even larger. Hmm. Okay, what time is it? 6 a.m. Okay, I have 24 hours to fulfill this contract. Okay, we have to do this. I'm sorry. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. I'm about to have Tay tackle this task and hopefully it doesn't take all morning. All right, I'm gonna have Tay change her outfit because it would be so cute if she's wearing a little apron while she's recording this. You already know, baby, we came well packed, well packed for every occasion. <laughs> Oh, how cute is she? And I think it is still raining, so I'm so sad about that. Oh, cutie. The staff is not here, so I'm just gonna use their kitchen. I'm gonna put Penelope down here, and then we're gonna start recording with the drone. I already got my stuff set up over there, because that's where we're gonna edit that hoe. <laughs> Come on, little drone, don't disappoint me. Okay, so since this is supposed to be like girl dinner, I think I'm just gonna make like this fruit chocolate pot, because I feel like I don't have anything <laughs> that's like really girl dinner, so this is as close as we're gonna get. Yes, she did not come to play with y'all, okay? <laughs> and just like that, we're done, baby. All right, I have Tay editing this video because it's still raining, and like I said, I don't wanna cheat the weather, so I'm gonna let the rain pass, and then we're gonna go toward these wedding venues because like, I'm not gonna go look at them when it's raining. Honestly, I don't even wanna look at them <laughs> when it's wet. Like, I know it's gonna be wet on the ground, but I think that's better than going while it's soaking rain. Like, that's not the vibe. Okay, so Tay has uploaded that video. It says, Tay, that footage is ace. Our editors are already recutting it to meet the needs of the client, but don't worry. I know they're gonna love it. Keep your phone handy. We'll ring you with another opportunity soon. Also, I forgot to mention that Don got this quirk of a stan. Don's kind gesture of signing autographs for fans has caused him to acquire a stan. This obsessive super fan 
Dawn's single goal in life is for Dawn to know just how much Dawn is loved and adored. When Dawn goes out on the town, his stand may show up eager to strike up some conversation. When Dawn wants to relax in the privacy of his home, Dawn's likely to catch a glimpse of his stand through the windows, rummaging through his trash can. Most of all, he should exhibit caution when inviting a stand inside. They love to steal souvenirs. Oh, hell no. Oh my God. Okay, so here's the tea. Let me give it to you piping hot while I can. So Sasha, our wedding planner, she's cool. She's beautiful, beautiful girl, right? Let me open up her profile. Tell me why her first impression about Don was that she has a crush on him. It feels like love at first sight, wise maybe, maybe not, irresistible, very much so. How about you stick with the idea of it being wise maybe not? Because girl, I'm not even gonna play with you right now. If you even think about flirting with my man. I'm sorry, Marilyn Jean Sims. <laughs> she made this beautiful sim for me to feature in the series, but I'm gonna have to pull out my gun because I'm not playing with my man. You're my wedding planner, bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, it's an automatic no for me. The fact that Dawn thinks she's very attractive. I mean, she is, she's a gorgeous girl, she is. But y'all, anyways, let's get back to touring this beautiful venue. All right, so this is the aisle that Tate and Don would be walking down. Like I said, it's fall, so just picture the grass being very green. It's not gonna be this brown crusty dookie color. I absolutely love the wooden shutters on the walls and just the fact that like we're under this beautiful canopy. This is so gorgeous. So we are in Windenburg and this world has a lot of castles and castle ruins, so it's kind of giving like castle ruins vibes and I'm here for it. This would be the DJ area and again we're under a beautiful canopy. Over here is like the reception and I assume that the wedding cake would be on this table and then this table would be like the him and hers table. This bar area is absolutely so cute. So overall I do really like this lot but I am going for like a very extravagant wedding. We have a $10,000 budget and I don't think this is extravagant enough for us honestly. We are technically working from home today and um, one of the work assignments is to record a DIY handiness video which I'm not even gonna lie I'm not gonna do that. The second task that we have to do is to do three different status updates at three different locations and since I'm not going to use this lot as my wedding venue I think I'm gonna upload my status update here. Me and Sasha are actually really good friends and we get along pretty well. Well, so I think I'm gonna have Dawn introduce Penelope to her because we're gonna be seeing her so often. Doesn't look like Penelope likes her very much. Oh, look at them, so cute. She's like, no, thank you. <laughs> Don't wanna hold her anymore, she's crying. Don't wanna deal with it. Wait, no, because why is she in a, such a bad mood after she just saw me kiss Dawn? Like, she's just me mugging. Don't, don't play with me. <laughs> Excuse me, not Sasha stomping taking us to our next wedding venue. I'm not playing, don't play with me, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, don't. All right, so this is another stunning lot that's giving like that castle ruins vibe and I absolutely love the outside. So here is the aisle where Tay and Don would be walking down and then up these stairs, they would like have the little ceremony and exchange rings and all of that. And over on this side, they have like a little piano so somebody could be playing Here Comes the Bride for us. I love that they have like this little like welcome to the wedding, little wedding section. So this is the reception area. I love all the dining wear. And then this is like the his and hers table. My favorite thing about this lot, and I'll probably use regardless of what wedding venue I choose, is we have this section here where you can come through this door. And then when you walk in, they have like this section for you to like get ready. So this is the area for the bride to get ready. She'll be fitted for her dress and like zipped up. And then here we have like the little makeup getting ready station. And then this way we'll take you to the groom's getting ready station. So same thing here, just way smaller because it's a man. But I think like the decorations are pretty cool cause it's giving like castle, I think in my opinion. The venue does have a second story, which I don't know what we would need to do up here, but it's a vibe. And the view out here is just absolutely gorgeous. Over here is like the little reception DJ area for dancing. And yeah, that's basically it. I think this lot is absolutely stunning. I love it. The only thing is like, um, I feel like we're still not there yet. Like I love all of the greenery and all of that, but I don't know, it's not extravagant enough for me. I need more. 
For this next one, Sasha really said, you want big, I will give you big. This is the Windenburg Chatsu. And honestly, I think that's the most extravagant lot they have in Windenburg. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the rainbow in the sky, okay? That rain paid off because this is absolutely gorgeous. This is the most grand entrance I've ever seen in my life. So going through the front doors, we do have a cute little sign for the wedding. And immediately entering, we have like these two grand staircases, another sign welcoming you to the wedding, this super cute photo op for pictures. So this would be the reception slash like DJ area. Of course, the his and hers table. And look at these beautiful flowers outside in the window. This is like the bar area. Here I picture a bunch of cute photos of Tay and Don from their Save the Date video. There is a gorgeous chandelier here for some reason my game is like glitching with glass right now so just picture a gorgeous gorgeous gold chandelier hanging from right there and out these doors is where the wedding ceremony would take place so we have like this absolutely stunning aisle it's fall time right now and it looks this gorgeous and i love all the little fairy lights in the trees and the beautiful lanterns i was super inspired with the last lot and i loved like the little staircase thing with the wedding arch so i I definitely had to recreate it on this lot. The swan, come on. Like the view, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. But what is also so amazing about this lot is it's a freaking castle. So there is plenty of space for Tay and Don to have their first night as husband and wife. And of course, space for family to stay. I even put like this cute little bed for Penelope to stay in as like a little nursery. If she stays that night, I don't know what we're planning to do with her, honestly. And we do have that gorgeous view out our window. Like, oh my goodness. Tay is like, I didn't uh, know that you had it in you, Sasha. But dang, this lot is amazing. Ah. <laughs> oh, Don likes it too. Period. They're all just enthusing about the wedding. I think this is gonna be our wedding venue. I I think it's the one. Like, you guys let me know what you think. What would you choose if these were your three options? I want to know. Okay, they are really trying me right now. I, what was that? Okay, James. Magnetic Buzzum. Why must Don's converser have such eye-catching breast? And why can't Don stop himself from trying to trick a because he has never had this mood lit with me before. Like, I'm perceived as very attractive. Oh, maybe. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed. You probably didn't. I noticed because I stare at Tay all the time, but she actually gained a little bit of weight, which isn't a bad thing. Like, look at her. She's absolutely stunning. I can see she has like a four pack going on still. Now I'm a little self-conscious because she did gain a little weight. And like now he's looking at this wonderful, beautiful woman, Sasha, who has this voluptuous body and y'all... I'm a little hurt right now. Like Tay has just been in her feelings because he went off on her about spending a bunch of money at Target. <laughs> And you can see like her deeply in love sentiment. It's slowly falling away. And I can't even be mad at him because it, the body is banging, okay? <laughs> like, how is it that I got two rounds of a BBL and I lost all my BBL? <laughs> like, I had a baby and then I lost weight after the baby and it took my BBL with it. Like, I need a refund. Can I speak to the manager, please? Because... <laughs> Let me stop being so insecure because it's this is triggering right now. I kind of wanted it to be a surprise that we're going to choose this as our wedding venue, but Tay is just so excited. So she had to post about it online. She did another status update. Of course, Tay had to use this moment as a photo op and take some selfies for Simstagram. Tay and Don spent the next two days coupled up at the Windenburg bed and breakfast. In our next episode, you'll see them back at home in Delta Valley and we'll continue you know planning this wedding inviting our guests oh picking our bridesmaids if you enjoyed this episode please give it a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe also don't forget to enter the giveaway i did announce a giveaway on the first episode of this series so definitely check it out if you haven't seen it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye